Ella, Ernie Anastas, Spencer Christian, and Storm Field. Why go to sleep in the dark? Watch Eyewitness News at 11 and see the world in a whole new light. Richard Simmons, tomorrow morning at 9. Morning, Chief. Good morning. I uh, thought I'd come up with yesterday's report. That was quite a bit of excitement at the Diedrichson studio, wasn't it? That kind of excitement I can do without a radical nut with a gun. It's a lucky thing for everybody. Gavin Wiley came in when he did. <laughs> yeah, good old Gavin. Imagine that. I guess uh, living with a cop has finally rubbed off. Eh? I doubt he even had a chance to think about it. I think he just reacted to that gun, pushed him away. Dangerous thing he did. I'm glad he came out all right. Mm -hmm. Heard this guy had quite a fever. He's in a hospital bed now with a guard. Yeah, what's his condition? Niles says he'll be okay. I interrogate him this afternoon. Well, have we got anything on him? <laughs> Everything we got on him is that his real name is Ellis Campbell. He's traveling on an Eden passport, expired. He graduated from Monticello University. Mm. He has no record in the States. He may have a record abroad. Well, yeah, uh, except for the fact that his passport is expired. That's it. Yeah, well, then his, uh... Motivation for trying to kill Chad Sutherland must not have been personal. Must have been some sort of political revenge. Actually, it's both. Exactly what is going on in that country anyway? I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know anything about foreign affairs. Chief, there is something I want to ask you, though. <clears throat> have you noticed Jody Travis's attitude to this crazy guy? I mean, she almost seems to be sympathetic towards him. I have noticed that. I'm glad you noticed it, too. I don't understand it. After what this guy's put her through, she goes through the kidnapping first. Then she witnesses a shootout in which his partner is killed right in front of her, and then he tries to go over and kill a friend of hers, Chad Sutherland. Well, well, that's I... quite a list for somebody who's supposed to have no previous record. No, obviously he's making up for lost time. But I'm not booking him just for kidnapping. I'm booking him for attempted murder. I don't know who she is. She was a nurse, that's all I know. I saw her here last night. But I'm the only nurse assigned to this hey, room. Hey, 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 what's going on? Oh, Dr. Cavanaugh, the patient is gone. What? It wasn't my fault, Doc. She came by here around 6, this nurse, and she said she had to take him to x-rays. I didn't order any x-rays. Yeah, I, but I didn't know that. She put him in a wheelchair and she rolled him away. I have no idea who it was, Dr. Cavanaugh, but it certainly wasn't me. I never came back? No, never. Well, I don't think we should hold our breath. Edge of Night is brought to you by Lemon Fresh Joy. For a Lemon Fresh Clean, right down to the shine. And by Sunshine Fresh Mr. Clean. He helps keep Noax floor shining bright. Uh-oh. What uh-oh? Well, you're installing my Noax floor. Don't uh-oh. Oh, the floor's fine. I forgot to explain how to clean it to help keep it shiny. Oh, well, the shine's built in. Well, it still needs to be cleaned the right way. Any suggestions? Yep, Sunshine Fresh Mr. Clean is great. For Noax floors? He doesn't dull on no wax floors shine. He works so well, even Armstrong approves. Really? Watch. If you lifted a no wax floors shine, you'd see the film many cleaners can leave. Not Mr. Clean. And no dulling film means more sunny shine. If you say so, I'm for Mr. Clean. Armstrong says so. Here. For me? I don't know. Oh, in the bottle. <laughs> Sunshine Fresh Mr. Clean helps keep no wax floors shining bright. What a mess. You know, my grandmother had a secret. She squeezed lemons to get dishes clean. <laughs> I sure don't need to do that now. For a Lemon Fresh Clean, I use Lemon Fresh Joy. <gasps> lemon Fresh Joy? It'll really take care of this mess. Still squeezing lemons, my... You don't need to squeeze lemons to get clean dishes. Squeeze Lemon Fresh Joy. Mmm, Joy smells so lemony. Incredibly lemony. And Joy's thick suds give us that Lemon Fresh Clean right down to the shine. Gorgeous shine. These dishes are so clean, they shine. Like the shine your grandmother got? Maybe. Even better. <laughs> Try Lemon Fresh Joy for a Lemon Fresh Clean that shines. Oh, this is perfectly awful. 
murder, mayhem, strikes, wars. From now on, I'm going to confine my reading to the food columns. What are you muttering about? Raven's jargon. My dear girl, what in heaven's name is the matter with you? Nothing. Why? I've never seen you fully dressed so early in the morning. <sighs> well, well, what on earth did you do? Sleep in your clothes last night? Well, I certainly hope I don't look like that. No, of course not. You look perfectly lovely, as a matter of fact. But to what do you attribute this extraordinary circumstance? I am turning over a new leaf. Raven, your new leaves have a way of fading very quickly. Well, I am starting over since I am now Raven Alexander again. So you decided to use your maiden name. I hate that term, maiden name. It sounds so pure and boring. <laughs> all right, the name you were born with, then. Actually, I think you're very wise. After all, you can't go around using the name Whitney when it doesn't even belong to you. Actually, it never did, officially, I mean. That is not my fault. I took that name on good faith. And I don't want to talk about that this morning. It's depressing. Besides, I'm not going to use any man's name again until I'm married. Don't tell me you're thinking about that already. Well, I can't stay single forever. It's unnatural. Well, for you, it would be. You've made marriage a vocation. Let's see, you've had three marriages? Yes, three, including Skye, or Jeff Brown, I should say. And you're only... How old are you exactly? I'll tell you how old I am if you tell me how old you are. You want some breakfast? I'll order from room service. <laughs> no, no, I'm not really hungry. However, I will take just a little bite of yours, if you don't mind. Oh, no, of course not. Mm, I just need a little something so I can have my strength to meet the day. Don't talk with your mouth full, dear. Okay, I'll help, but I'm in a hurry. What is it? You going job hunting? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going hunting, but not for a job. Be careful, Raven. You may need a license. Oh, no, I won't. It's, uh... Open season. Good morning. Good morning, brother. <laughs> this is a surprise. We had dinner and then lunch, and uh, now you're here for breakfast? Is that an invitation? I guess so. Come in. Thank you. Uh, Sam, I'm offering eggs and toast this morning. Oh, coffee and toast will be fine. Okay. My new cook hasn't found a way around the kitchen as yet, so I didn't get much to eat this morning. And I must say, you've made me feel better already. Well, we'll just call this a continental breakfast. Would you like cream in your coffee, or you take... No, black is fine. I hope I'm not imposing too much. No, no, um, I'm just being leisurely this morning. Good. I like this feeling of having breakfast with you, Val. It's very uh, intimate and comfortable. Well, you're easily pleased these days. I'm always pleased when I'm in your company. You must think I'm haunting you. Oh, not really, but uh, <laughs> I am curious about finding you here so early in the morning. I have a couple of reasons, actually. Yes? First of all, I have tickets for the ballet this evening, and I was wondering if you'd care to join me. Oh, wow. Well, um, listen, I have a really full day this afternoon at the studio, and I have a very early call tomorrow morning, and I really think I should stay home tonight. I think you'll be very disappointed if you do. You've told me how much you love the ballet, and this company is performing in Monticello tonight only. Won't be back for a year. Well, I... And then let me tempt you further by telling you that the prima ballerina is none other than Irina Bellanova. Sky, it's very kind of you, but I... But you feel we're seeing altogether too much of each other, is that it? I do have this sense of being rushed into something. I mean, to be getting so much attention in so short a time. But I'm making up for lost time. But I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Perhaps I'm taking too much for granted. No, no, it isn't that. I enjoy being with you. I guess I just feel like I need more time to get used to you. After everything that's happened, I think you can understand that. Of course. We're both making a fresh start. I just seem to need less time to uh, get it going. Oh, that reminds me. I uh, wanted to start over with the gift I gave you yesterday. No uh, initials on this one. 
guy. You really shouldn't be doing this. Are you going to rob me of the pleasure it gave me to select that for you? Open it. You could begin by wearing it to the ballet this evening. Oh, Sky. I don't want to offend you, but I just can't accept so bad. Valerie. Yes. Just think of this as a small token of my appreciation for the many, many services you rendered on my behalf. It's lovely. And it comes with a guarantee. No strings attached. Mr. Mint Mouthwash. Hello there. Uh, uh, the pleasure's all uh, uh, mine. Sure wasn't theirs. Get up the Mr. Mint and get up the confidence. Lister Mint has natural mint and is more effective than the leading mint mouthwash. I'm confident we'll be friends. Well, get up the Lister Mint and get up the confidence. Look for details on Lister Mint's buy one, get one free offer in August 22nd's newspapers or September 4th TV Guide. Around the world, there's just one thing we do. Just one, senor. We make the world's favorite chicken. We make it especially for you. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do it right. No other fried chicken is all right. Be paired by hand, what a lovely sight. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. I don't think there's any question about it. Ellis Campbell was in no condition to engineer his own escape. That nurse that took him to x-ray must have been his accomplice. You mean somebody who was wearing a nurse's uniform, but who really wasn't a nurse? Yeah, possibly, or might have even been a member of our staff who just was sympathetic to whatever it is that Campbell represents. I knew it. The chief is really upset. <laughs> Did you expect anything else, Robertson? No, I guess not. He's already on his way over. Look, uh... You seem uh, like you need a good, strong cup of coffee. Why don't you go down to the cafeteria and get yourself one? Yeah, thanks, Doc. That's not much more we can do here. Yes. I just hope those antibiotics did my patient some good before he decided to discharge himself. Did you get that feeling, too? What feel? Oh, I don't know. That maybe he really wasn't a criminal. That he was just a sick young man. No, I didn't get that feeling at all. I'm tired of people feeling sorry. Hello, Miles. Ah, oh, Derek. So our little bird has flown the coop, has he? I'm afraid so, yeah. Sorry to say, this is Mrs. Miller, one of our floor nurses, is Chief Mallory. Miss Miller? How do you do, sir? I uh, sent Robertson down for a cup of coffee. I hope you're not going to be too rough on him. Early morning x-rays, huh? Yeah, I didn't order any x-rays, in case you're wondering. I wasn't wondering. I'm sure you didn't. Obviously, Pietro's got more girlfriends in this town than we thought. Listen, I got a description of the nurse who wheeled him out from Robertson. You tell me if this fits any of your girls. Mid-twenties, long dark hair, about five foot six, 120 pounds, brown eyes, good looking. There are so many nurses on this floor who might fit wait that minute, description. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That sounds like the, the, girl, the girl that was here yesterday when we were wait talking, the nurse went into his room. She looked like that. I'd never seen her here before. That does. Maybe we can get a composite drawing together on her. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll stop by headquarters as soon as I finish my rounds here. This evening connection seems to have more people involved than we thought. Maybe even somebody working in this hospital. Or somebody else who just put on a nurse's uniform and came in here. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is that he's gone. Well, I'll talk to you about it. Robertson! He couldn't walk. He was in bed. Yeah, but Doc! How could that? I mean, but who told me? Yeah, Gus, look, it's Calvin. Listen, see what you can dig up on a guy by the name of Jesse Hallman for me. Yeah, I've had him in a holding cell on a B&E for a while. He claims he's being a good boy. I think he's been naughty. So, uh, rev up the computer, see what you can find. I'll be down in a few minutes, okay? Thank you. <coughs> hey, Tyler, how's it going? How's it going, Calvin? Where's the chief? Well, we had to rush over to the hospital to find out why a certain suspect managed to escape very easily from his sickbed. What are you talking about? Who escaped? That kid, Pietro, the one who snatched Jody. There was an incident yesterday over at the Dietrichson studio. He, uh, 
held Chad Sutherland at gunpoint. Jody was talking him out of it when Gavin showed up and took it from him. Well, that kid's a real psycho. Yeah. Crazy just like a fox. Do you know, they took him to the hospital last night with uh, what they call a high-grade infection. By this morning, he pulled a complete vanishing act. Well, didn't somebody post a guard at the door? Uh-huh. Robertson. Oh, God. No wonder. <laughs> you know, that guy has an incredible talent for doing everything wrong. Well, with Robertson, it's more akin to genius, I think. Well, I guess I better catch the chief later. We'll see. You. Okay. Well, say, Calvin. Mm-hmm. Does the name Troy Bannister mean anything to you? I expect my kids to steal my safeguard, but my own sister wasn't me. I brought my own soap. You mean you don't know about safeguards, unbeatable deodorant, soap protection? Or safeguards rich lather? Or the fresh scent? No, but I'm going to find out. What about your soap? Most soaps don't lather up this rich, even when they're big. My own sister. My safeguard isn't safe with anyone. For the combination of lather and protection, Fresh Smelling Safeguard's the smallest soap in the house. You want a bite, Pumpkin? She can't chew that. Whoops. <laughs> you are the baby expert. No. It's just right. Everything for Karen has to be just right. Even her clothes need special care. Oh, so you wash them in this? For that ivory snow softness. I think it's just right. Ivory Snow starts with pure soap. That's what gives babies clothes that ivory snow softness. Mmm, soft. Just right. Ivory Snow, just right for baby's clothes. Procter & Gamble is hoisting the sales for savings with terrific money-saving coupons. Look in this Sunday's paper for these coupons and redeem them for big savings on many of your favorite Procter & Gamble products. And there's a lot more. I can't tell you exactly what, but this boat is a hint. So check newspapers or store displays for complete details and get ready to sail for savings. So Troy is Dee Dee's kid brother. That's too bad. Well, why? Well, Calvin, I went to see Eddie Lorimer yesterday. I went to his new headquarters, the Endicott Gallery. I wanted to ask him a few questions, but uh, he wasn't there. I did get a chance to talk to Poppy, however. Yeah, and? Uh, she wasn't very cooperative either. You know, Calvin, I can't figure out what it is about that. Hold it, you are wandering, my man. What about Dee Dee's brother, Troy? Apparently, Troy is employed by Eddie Lorimer. What? You see, while I was talking to Poppy, she was working on some employment records, and I noticed the name Troy Bannister. I immediately thought of Dee Dee, and I wondered if there was any connection. I didn't realize she had a kid brother in this town. Well, she didn't have a kid brother in this town until recently. Well, what do you know about this guy? Well, all I can tell you is he's fresh out of jail, got a real fresh mouth, and a fresh suit of clothes. That's about it. What, is he on parole? No, I don't think so. He served his time. Well, he's serving time right now with Eddie Lorimer's company. That's not good news. Well, I wonder if Dee Dee knows about this. Huh. This must be Mitzi's theatrical newspaper. <laughs> dear, dear grandfather, well, let's see what's happening in the wonderful world of show business. Rag show waves white flag and shy sub. That doesn't make any sense. A stage company performing in a tent closes in a suburb of Chicago. Oh, this is like a foreign language. Let's see. Sci-Fi Fest, Buffo, Down Under. Let's see, Sci-Fi, Science Fiction, Fest, Festival. Yeah. Science Fiction Film Festival is a big hit in Australia. <laughs> Show business. Well, now that 
Buffy Revere is going to give the money to Jim Diedrichson for the theater. I guess Mitzi is back to being an actress. Show closing. Star Stoner, however, will not be finishing out the run. Understudy Samantha Pike will be taking over for the concluding weeks. <sighs> Hello? Hello, Dee Dee. It's Calvin. Listen, I have to see you right away. Do you think you could meet me for lunch at Sid's? No, Calvin, I can't. Dee Dee, listen, this is important. Calvin, I have heard that one before. Dee Dee, I'm serious. I mean it. Look, it's about your brother. Bert? Yeah, this is Eddie. What took you so long to answer the phone? What are you talking about? I rang 27 times, for Pete's sake. What do you mean you couldn't hear with the TV on? Hey, how am I supposed to run a salvage business with you guys sitting around watching cartoons all day long? Now, where is this guy with the figures? He's supposed to be here an hour ago. Yeah, what'd you do, send him uptown on a camel? Come on now, I got a business to run here. You guys better get on the stick. No, no, I don't want to hear the figures on the phone. I ain't got time for that. I got a guy coming over here who's going to bring me a ton of money. Now, you don't know him. His name is Al Decker. Hey, look, when I call, stay off the TV. What? Yeah, they're for selling, not watching. Goodbye. Come on in. Oh, Al, hey, uh, how you doing? Come on in. Uh, what happened to you? You're five minutes late. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I, I got uh, tied up. I think traffic. that's all right. Calm down. It's all right. Have a seat. Relax. You want a little drink? How about some scotch, huh? Yeah, That'll make you yeah. feel better. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Look, I know just how you feel. When it comes time to pay off big money, I've been in that position myself. You gotta pay a big lump of money to some guys, right? You gotta pay the big, you gotta pay the principal, you gotta pay everything. Mm -hmm. I know how you feel. All right, here, this'll make you feel better. I'm not nervous, really. I know, I know what you're saying. Now, listen, um, I, I tell my guys the same thing. You got to understand, it's easy to borrow money. Anybody can borrow money, but then the day comes, you got to pay it back. You know what I'm saying? But I have paid it back, Mr. Larma. Three or four times, I keep paying and paying on it, but the loan never seems to get paid off. Hey, what do you want? There's high interest today. You're talking about days of inflation. I mean, the whole country's in trouble. The government's in trouble. What do you think the government does when they wake up in the morning and they got $30 billion deficits? They only got two choices, raise taxes or stop spending. They ain't gonna stop any spending, buddy. They're gonna raise the taxes. We do the same thing. We need money, we raise the interest. But think of it this way now, huh? If it wasn't for us, you would have lost your business, right? I have lost my business. And I lost my wife and my family. But self-respect because of you, so I am going to pay you back in full. Hey, hey, come on, Al. What is this? Calm down. You know what you're doing, and you're going to wind up in big trouble. Just what? No. I got you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got the figures from Gus, Mr. Lorimer. Sorry I was late. You weren't late, kid. You were just right on time. That's what I love about my people. They're right on time. And as for you, you ungrateful piece of garbage, I got to blow your guts all over the wall. You know, I like it here much better. A little more activity than downtown? Well, it's official, kid. From now on, you've just been promoted uptown. Now, your first job is take this donkey to see the Matson brothers. They're going to give you a little lesson in how to pay your bills on time. You hear what I'm saying? Get them out of my sight. Oh, and Troy, it's a little bonus. This is for you. You may need it now in your new line of work. Take care. person asks me for butcher's blend, I'll go crazy. Excuse me, where's that new meteor tasting butcher's blend? Follow me, lady. This is where you find the butcher's blend. Oh. But please don't bother the butcher. New butcher's blend dog food has even more meaty taste and three flavors, beef, bacon, and liver. And it comes from a bag, not a butcher. New butcher's blend for more meaty taste. Please don't bother the butcher. Excuse me, where are the pork chops? When you get it, itchy red skin. Get corn aid, corn aid, when you get it. Darn bug. Get corn aid, corn aid, when you get it. Oh, touch of poison ivy. Get corn aid.
Cordae. Cordae gently works with your body's natural defenses. It's all you need for the relief of dermatitis and other minor itches and rashes. When you get it, itchy eczema. Get Cordae. Ryan's hope. Just say the word and Novak is a dead man. If there's danger here, I'm not leaving. We'll face it together. It's coming from my past and it doesn't involve you. There's nothing about your life that doesn't involve me. Ryan's hope. Hello, Nancy, dear. How are you? Oh, I'm all right. Oh, I'd love to have dinner with you and Mike tonight. How nice. What time? Mm-hmm. Raven. Well, I'm really not certain, so I, I really can't speak for her. No, she's gone out, and I... I have no idea what her plans are. So, did you learn anything new at the hospital? No, I didn't find out nothing. Listen, I want a new APB out immediately on Ellis Campbell, Ellis Pietro. Do it. Right now. about you. You have, have you? Yes, I have, and I, I wanted to see you, and I just couldn't wait another minute. <laughs> Money doesn't make a kid happy, but it takes a lot of it to make some kids healthy. So through Labor Day, Skippy Peanut Butter and Golden Griddle Syrup are donating five cents to the Muscular Dystrophy Association every time you buy either product. That could mean half a million dollars or more for Jerry's kids. And that's hard to beat. So's the good nutrition kids get from a Skippy lunch. And a delicious breakfast with Golden Griddle. Thank you, Annette. So look for these displays in your store, and thanks. Synchronized. This line illustrates Enhance is synchronized to work when you style. Enhance. Enhance is synchronized to work now when you style your hair. Because Enhance has synchronized moisturizers that work now when you blow dry and brush, when you curl or comb to enhance the softness, enhance the shine. So everything comes together beautifully. Try Enhance shampoo and conditioner. Synchronized so it works when you style. Yeah. 